All right, so what you guys are going to do is two things here. Um, so now you get to, get to color, and you're going to color code both sides, okay? So the regular periodic table and also the spiral periodic table. Um, mm -hmm. And what a, create a key, and you want to use the same key, whatever you're coloring on one side, they're also going to do to the other side as well. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to outline. So um, it's kind of like this over here, like for your metals. You know, have a, like an outline for the metals here. You don't have to do like each individual block. Okay, you can do it as a kind like of the overall perimeter of the metals here. Do the same thing for the non-metals and also for the metalloids. What I would recommend doing is doing metalloids first. And then get this area right here, the metalloids. Then after you have the metalloids, then you can go through and say, okay, these are metals, these are non-metals over here, okay? These are the, your metalloids, boron, silicon, germanium, all the way across here. Now, the thing is, technically, we really don't know if these are metalloids. According to the pattern, they should be, but we're not positive, okay? So, this is kind of a gray zone, okay? So, but these other ones here in the beginning, they're, they're definitely uh, metalloids here. After you do the outline, yeah. Do we still color those the same color as the metalloids? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the the ones I have up here, B S I T E A S S B T E T O A T T S O G, just make those metalloids, okay? okay. Um, and then um, then you want to do the same thing to the other side, the, the spiral one here. Find those same elements, outline the same thing here. You know, do the same thing for the metals. Do the same thing for the non-metals. So in other words, you want to have something kind of like this thing, metals. You know, let's say this is going to be my metals, this is going to be my um, non-metals, and this is going to be my, my metalloids. I'm going to make those, say, maybe green or something like that. So you pick whatever color you want here. Okay, hold on a second here. Then, the next thing you're going to do is you want to fill in these right here. So you're going to have some alkaline metals, um, alkaline earths, halogens, noble gases, transition metals, now transition, you have two subcategories within that. You have the lanthanides and also you have the actinides. But these two right here, you're gonna have two colors in them. One of them is gonna be the color of whatever you use for transition metal. Then you're gonna have a second color that's just for the lanthanides. And then another separate color just for the actinides, okay? Some of the elements will not have any color at all. They won't, they'll have an out, a perimeter color, but they won't be filled in with a color. Okay, um, let me give you a rough idea what that looks like. Where's it at here? Okay, if you look over here on the screen, zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so. So if you look over here, um, I did this on a spreadsheet here, so it kind of doesn't show too, too, too well here. So like in this case here, I had the green one here for the metals. So now I end up having where each individual cell was outlined with that color. You don't have to do that. You can just do like the outer perimeter of that. Now non-metals over here. Then in my case here, I had metalloids as the red color going down through here, okay? Then over here, if you look, I have the alkaline metals, group one, alkaline earth metals, that's group two. I have the noble gases, that's group 18. I have the halogens, group 17. Transition metals, I have purple, but then if you look down towards the bottom, okay, these are also transition metals, but they, you have a subcategory. So I have my lanthanides as being orange and the actinides as being pink, but they also have purple in them as well because they're part of the transition metals. Does that make sense? Okay. So whatever color code you do up here, you're also going to do to the spiral one as well. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Did you get the message on that? Let's I don't see. know. I think it was just, yeah, it was just. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. You already missed it. Okay, so then we do, we, we do a, 
So you're going to create a key. For the other one too, right? Like well, for the, the you, you just use the same key, whatever. So if I use trans purple for transition metals here, for the spiral one, I'm also going to use purple as well. Yeah. But we have to make it a key for the, like, the ones we fill in too, right? Yeah, see like this. Yeah. See? Like this? No, other ones too. Yeah, Alpha, no. yeah look up there to the right. Yeah. See? See. So these are the ones that are filled in, and then you have the ones for the perimeter. So you have the three main groups, metals, non-metals, metalloids, sort across here, and then the kind of specific categories for each one. Now, don't necessarily use my color key I have up here. I'm just using that as an example. Okay, move this up a little bit. sense yeah. now also too <clears throat> like I said some of these will not have colors like these right here they're not filled in with any colors okay there are names for these other ones I'm not going to have you be concerned about what are these other names of these other groups here Technically, there are other names for those mm -hmm. groups here. And what you want to see here, too, is like when you do the double gases, here, do this. Take your, look at your spiral one here for a moment. Okay, for example, group one, your alkaline metals. Okay, find on here, now alkaline metals are hydrogen, lithium. If, whether you color code this as being a metal or not, or left this one blank, I'm not gonna be worried about hydrogen. Hydrogen's a, a unique element, okay? I had some students where they labeled this as a metal because in some very, very situations it can be, but typically it's a non-metal. Mm -hmm. um, if you include this as an alkaline metal, that's fine. If not, that's okay as well. But the rest of these should be alkaline metals. But look at this, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. You find it here on the spiral? Think of yeah. It's like one of the spokes on there, okay? Or B E N G C A S R B A R A. You'll see that's one of the spokes. That's cool. So again, whatever you're using here, I'm also going to use on here. But start with the metalloids. Outline the metalloids first, and then do these other ones. Outline the next sections, and then go through and start doing the fill-ins. Wait, I can use a non-metal, right? or is it not? It, it's tech, most situations it's considered to be a non-metal, but if you list it as a metal, I'm not going to be upset about it. Hydrogen is, on some periodic tables, you actually will see hydrogen separate from the rest of the periodic table. It is its own unique type of element. This is just one version of our periodic table. Uh, let me show you some other ones. another version of a pair cable. What? Oh, it's like wrapped up. It's actually not that much different than what I showed up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that right there is the blow part, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the lanthanide and actinide series. And it's just like folded. Hmm. And then 
basically just like this. Basically just took this pair of cable, spun it around like so, and then kind of pinched this area together like that. Because what happens here, and a lot of times people look at a pair of cable and say, okay, it runs off this way and it starts over here. Well, technically, it's more of a cycle. Something more like that. Can I see? Can you go back to the other one? Yeah. <sighs> I need it to see. Don't necessarily go by what I have up here, oh. but but basically you want you're doing the outlines. Yeah. So, I mean, if you use green, that's fine here. But oh no, I'm using orange with it, but I'm like looking at your. Oh okay, yeah. Outlines. Oh, I, I think it's easier if you start with the metal ones down yeah. through here. I have those on hand. I have like the green line right next to the metal ones, so like mm -hmm. the metal. Right Good afternoon. Pardon the interruption. I've got one announcement pertaining to dismissal procedures. So here it is. Just as a reminder, students that are car riders driving themselves home, riding in a car with a brother or sister, should be dismissed 